Welcome to this new video of Python 3 tutorials. In this case, I'm going to explain to you how to use dictionaries and also how to use which will be basic types of values that exist in Python. I have already talked about different types in my previous videos, but right now I'm going to be a little bit more precise. I'm going to go deeper in this. So, we have three main types of values that can be assigned in Python. I have here x equal this a variable equal is I am assigning a value and it's going to be x equal one. What's this thing? What does it mean? Okay, and let me type in all of it. X equal one point zero and x let me change this one. X equal one point zero and Z equal 1. What's the difference between these three values? These three values, the first one is an integer. The second one is called float and the third one is called string. Difference. The first one it gives you a number but it does not have decimals. That's why it's called integer. It's defined it's defined in Python with INT. It's INT, like this. Why? It's a float. It means it's a number with decimals. If I have 1.0 and 1, both are exactly the same. We know that by mathematics. But according to my program, according to Python 3, or Python 2 as well for that matter, it's going to be different because one it's only the integer but what but it can have whatever decimals that I can have 1.9 1 1 1.5 1.0001 and it's still one but with the float it's going to be 1.1 1 .1, and that's the value or 1.9 in here it does matter it's not going to omit this important segment of the number and in Z I have a string. It means it's letters. I'm going to be reading the text as it is. Uh, but actually, uh, here, visually, I need. Oh, I'm going to type in here with quotations. Usually, strings are in quotations so that you know that they are actually only text. Okay? Uh, and this is going to be useful in my next part of the video. I'm going to do something that's a dictionary. Let me start by typing in and I'm going to explain to you how this works. Capitals equal. Then in here I'm going to add what's going to be a key. Correct. Key. And let's type countries. Let's start. No mistake. Okay, let me type um, for example a USA here. Colon my mistake again. Colon. Colon and then I'm going to type in here Washington DC. Okay. We all know that the capital of the USA is Washington DC. Next value. Uh, let's type in, for example, Canada. Good old Canada. Such a friendly place, right? Okay. And then here, capital of Canada is Ottawa. Like this. Comma. Let's go to Germany. Let's change can for a moment. No, don't forget it. The quotations like I just did, like this. Okay. Then again, colon. And in here, the capital of Germany is Berlin. So I just wait like this. Uh, it might have just moved over here, but if you see, it only has one number. It's line, it's still one. Though it's if I only expand this, it's good to move it. But let's just leave it there. So, 
right now I'm going to type in a equal bye bye string input and in quotations country space and then print in a open parenthesis capitals then I'm gonna use this brackets to open it and a okay let me explain to you you see this program and maybe it makes sense the capitals part but you don't actually know what they are doing or why is these notations what does this brackets and this keys me okay a, a, a dictionary yeah, a directory it's going to help you a directory sorry it's going to help you have a value they're going to relate to values USA colon Washington DC this means whether each time I type in USA the return value I'm going to get is Washington DC uh, here is where I have it a equal string so it's going to take it as I put it the letters input country space for so it looks better and in here prints capitals brackets it means that I'm going to assign I'm going to look for what I write in a in capitals so I have the country USA within capitals my directory and since I have it there it's going to give me back Washington DC as my value let me save it as capitals.py okay let's give it a try okay in here already called my address where I want to go to see the C drive my documents and so on so right now I'm only going to get in Python on cap Pyrols.py Okay mm -hmm. Okay uh, hmm. Let me try Capitals.py Okay, let me Try saving it again with a different name. Save as directory.py. Then Python directory.py. All right, give me a moment. Let me check what's the problem. I'm back. I'm very sorry for that. I just find out what was the problem uh, I didn't save it in my documents I had different uh, folder named Python where I was saving it but now I reloaded in, docu in documents in here files save as in documents I typed in the name again so let me try once again with capitals .py. country here I type in USA what do I get? Washington DC. You see? This is the way this thing works. I I type in USA and it looks for it within my directory. If it finds it, then it's going to tell me as my result, the capital, that will be the second part after a column. And it's going to print it here. Washington DC, since I put print. Let's make a new one, but in this case, let's uh, try it with numbers. Let's look for the squares. It's numbers, it's equal to, let me see, you see, equal and then keys. So it's going to be numbers are equal to keys. For example, I'm going to type. Uh, one 
comma, colon, I'm sorry, one, comma, two, colon, four, and a comma, three, colon, nine, just to give a few examples, okay? Now, I'm going to type in as well, a equal, here is the important part, I, I'm going to type in int, means I'm going to look for the integer number, then int input, and in quotations, number, space, and for the last thing, print, forget this, numbers, brackets, a, save as numbers.py, okay, so, Okay, this one was my mistake. Uh, like this, uh, and like this. Let's see if I can. So let me in this one run Python space numbers dot py number. I'm gonna give one. It gives me one. If I run that again with three, it's gonna tell me nine because I assign here the value for three. It's nine. What happens if in here I run it, but I type 1.0? It's going to tell me that I can do invalid literal for int with base 10, 1.0. Why? Because I know in here it's what I have is int. I will need here string. And still, it's going to give me an error. Why? 1.0 it's not within my values if I have it if I type it here then it's going to be part of my values okay 1.0 it's gonna give mm, oh no 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 I'm sorry that's not string I wanted float my mistake float for the decimal so 1.0 1 if I remove this part for example just like this now 1.0 is 1 it is still running no. the problem was with the string because the 1.0 we know it's the same if I have the float value but for example I that is here 1.9 it's going to give me error why because 1.9 it's the float is different from 1 but 1.0 it's 1 so it's going to analyze the float value and compare it to value I have here if I had here for example 1.9 oh my bad save it and run again 1.9 1, .9. 1. But if I want 1.8, it's one's a. Uh, I'm sorry, bad, my bad. And number 1.8, it's an error because I don't have 1.8 to find in my directory. So thank you very much for watching this new tutorial. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments, and I'm gonna answer you as fast as possible. Thank you very much.